Hello everyone, this is Jaime from Pocketnow.com and we're testing the 1080p video capabilities of the Sony Xperia S as part of our full review. So, let's talk about it and I'm using it to film right now so tell me what you think about it. Okay, so we're here at the park doing a test of the video capabilities of the Xperia S. I'm sadly not impressed not with the video quality. The video quality is great. You'll notice that I'm walking and the Xperia does a really good job at stabilizing the video, but the problem is I can't do anything with the camera once I'm filming. I touch the screen like I'm doing right now and it does nothing. I cannot switch absolutely anything, not even turn on the flash once I'm filming, as opposed to other smartphone platforms. The only thing I can do is zoom in and zoom out with the volume buttons, but once you zoom in, like you notice right here, it does do a hard, it has a hard time in focusing. It can focus on faces, but I can't touch anything in focus, sadly. Other than that, well, the sensor does a really good job. If I try to do a close-up right now, you'll notice that, again, I can't, it tries to focus, and there, it finally focused right there, but it's, it's trying to look for faces to focus. And let me see if I can do a little close-up here. Not perfect, can't touch it. There, it finally focused. It takes it a little time, but once it does, you'll notice that the sensor does a really good job in handling detail. And obviously, video looks beautiful on the 720p display, so sadly, as I'm telling you, it's not perfect, but it, it gets the job done. Let me try to zoom in here. Let's see if it focuses at some point. Come on, focus. Nah, don't count on it, but... Again, these are the tests for 1080p. 1080p is great. Sadly, I'd love to show you the... And see, now I'm out of focus for everything else. Let me just hold it there and see if it focuses at some point. No, it's not going to focus. Oh, there we go. It finally focused. So, I'm trying... I wish I could give you a test of the 1.3 megapixel camera at the front. And I'll do that, but I have to do it separately because, sadly, it doesn't allow me to switch the cameras. So, that's another bad thing. So, other than that... It's, it does a really good job filming though. Okay, and now I'm testing the 1.3 megapixel front-facing camera on the Xperia S. You'll notice that, well, it looks really good. Does a really good job with color, with detail, even if it's 1.3 megapixels. Again, probably the only issue that I have is not being able to switch between cameras. Kind of a no-brainer. Hopefully that'll come with the ice cream sandwich update. That's it for our 1080p video test of the Sony Xperia S. You'll notice that, well, things aren't perfect, but the sensor does a really good job. I just wish that the software UI did a much better job than it does, so don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like what you saw. That's it for now.